Yeah, what's going on YouTube? TP back here today. Tips with T. First one of Black Ops 3. I'm going to be walking you guys through SMG class setups. The ones that I feel like will get you guys the most results in not only public settings, but competitive as well. You see my swagged out specialist character right here. Look at that behind. Absolutely magnificent. Anyways, let's move on before I get too distracted. Today, I'm going to be covering the VMP versus Vesper SMG class setups. Going to move on to some of the other weapons in future Tips with Teep videos, but is the VMP or the Vesper better? I think the relation I like to compare these two weapons to is the MSMC to the Scorpion relationship in Black Ops 2. Scorpion, higher rate of fire, more recoil, and just overall more damage output. Uh, time to kill overall, but made there was issues with the Scorpion that made it a little bit uh, iffy in certain situations. The MSMC was definitely better on land, and I feel like it's going to be the same sort of style with the VMP. Looking at the stats of the weapon, the damage, range, fire rate, all really darn good on the VMP, but the recoil can be a little bit difficult to deal with sometimes at longer range. But you can see Vesper's fire rate range is lower same sort of relationship the vmp is going to be more of that all around weapon you want to use and will win you more of those uh longer range gunfights but it does get outclassed at closer ranges by the vesper so i think it's basically up to you on which one uh, fits your sort of style better i see a lot of players using both weapons in my opinion, the Vesper fits my style better, and I'll show you in a private match why. But overall, both the top two SMG weapons to use, in my opinion, because it seems to be, in Black Ops 3, the fire rate is king when it comes to these submachine guns. I want to hop in a private match and explain what sort of setups you guys want to be running on both of these weapons and the, the benefits, the positives and negatives of each one that sort of sets them apart from the other submachine guns. Attachments real quick before we hop in. Quick draw, best attachment in the game in my opinion. I feel like everyone should be using this this attachment and if you're not, I just question your thinking a little bit. It aims in so darn quickly which I'll show you in the private match and there's really no reason not to use it. It's the first one you unlock, just use it. It's really good. Long barrel, definitely needed on the VMP in my opinion but not so much the Vesper. The long barrel in other games, I'm not sure if it's the same, but gives you a multiplier on your range. The more range the weapon has itself, the more benefit you get from using long barrel, therefore making your three or four bullet kill ranges that much further. And then, depending on what setup you want to run, maybe rapid fire so you can compete with that fire rate of the Vesper a little bit better. Laser sight for better hip fire, drip to manage the recoil. That third attachment, I think, is really up to you and your sort of style. I don't like running grip on any of the subs because I feel like it's easily manageable to just pull down and make sure that recoil pattern is in your favor. As for the Vesper, quick draw, love it. Extended mag only has a 30 bullet clip, so I highly recommend using E mag to get that 42 to make this weapon more viable. And then the last attachment, again, is up to you. Whether fast mag for fast reload, don't really need rapid fire because it shoots so damn fast already. Maybe grip to manage recoil. I see a lot of people using grip, which can be nice for you. And laser sight to make the hip fire even more OP. But now let's hop in to a private match and I'll show you guys the perks of using both of these weapons and what exactly sets them apart in Black Ops 3. Alrighty boys, let's get right into this private match. I'm going to explain a few things about each weapon that sets them apart. Number one, the fire rate. You kill people just absurdly fast with both of these weapons, but the Vesper is faster, faster. That's what makes it set apart at closer ranges compared to the VMP, while this weapon is the more all-around weapon. You can see the recoil is easily manageable. I don't recommend shooting more than like 10 bullets at a time with either of these weapons because the recoil can get pretty nasty. Recoil pattern, it starts to shoot up after a bullet spray like that. So you want to get into those closer range gunfights, but at range you can see the recoil starts shooting up like crazy. You don't want to spray and pray a lot with this weapon unless you're at extremely close ranges because the recoil can get a pretty, pretty crazy. Another thing that sets these weapons apart is with the rate of fire, the hit fire spray is just so darn strong. You can basically just fly around the map with either one of these weapons and be able to win close to even mid-range gunfights just by hip firing. That the the dynamics of both of these weapons 
is just different compared to the other ones. If your other weapons, you're just going to get outclassed at closer ranges due to the fire rate of these two weapons, especially with long barrel on this one. You're going to be able to win most of those. Uh, I don't want to say extremely close ranges because that's where the Vesper is going to be king, but uh, mid close range to mid range to mid to longer ranges is, is the weapon that you're want, going to want, which is the BMP. Similar style to how the MSMC was, it did get outclassed in certain senses by the Vesper, the Scorpion in Black Ops 2, but overall I think the MSMC was the stronger weapon. So I, Same sort of feel I get with this one. Let's move on to the Vesper though. You can see the time to kill with the VMP is quite fast, but as soon as I switch, you're gonna see why the Vesper outclasses it at closer ranges. This weapon's all about controlling your recoil. Look at that. Look how fast they just drop. You kill them basically instantly. There's really no reason to use a shotgun in the game when you have a gun like this. The rate of fire is absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. But, at longer ranges, this is where this weapon starts to fail a little bit. There's a lot of maps on this game that rely on those longer range gunfights, and that this is where this weapon lacks in comparison to the BMP. On a map like Combine, though, this weapon is going to be king. It just shoots bullets so much faster than everything else. No reason to use uh, any other sort of weapon if your plan is to get up close and personal with people. BMP... You might want to run one and one in a sort of competitive environment, but definitely need at least one of your players on the team running this weapon just because it still kills so quickly. But that's the good thing about Black Ops 3. It depends on the map. There's certain maps where this weapon cannot do much because ARs are posted up. You're not going to be able to pick someone off of a head glitch at longer ranges with this weapon. I'll show you guys the recoil pattern just a little bit before I end this video, but just want to explain the sort of perks and situations you want to use each weapon in and why they are considered better than the other submachine guns and the sort of setups you should be running. Here's a recoil pattern without me trying to manage it at all. As you see, it starts to shoot up. Let's move back a little bit. Sorry, it shoots up into the right just a tad. And then when I manage the recoil, you can see if you're good at managing the recoil, you can see it start to drift off. Just move your stick back over a little bit until the recoil resets and then you are good to go. One more thing, a tip with the Vesper before I stop the video, is at longer ranges, I highly recommend sort of bursting the weapon to recoil, reduce the recoil in that sense. At longer ranges, it's almost better to shoot the burst at times, but as you can see, the damage drop off at range with this weapon, you know, requires more bullets to kill. And that's what sets it apart from the VMP. The VMP kills faster than this weapon at longer ranges, but if they're within, I don't know, 20, 30 feet of you, this weapon is king. Same sort of thing we saw in Black Ops 2. The weapon balance is quite good in this game. I'd like to see the weapons take just a tad longer to kill. I think this is a little bit too fast, but that's my opinion. And that's why the VMP and Vesper are the go-to subs. In future videos, I'll be covering other SMGs. Just wanted to explain the relationship of these two weapons, the class setups, and how to manage recoil just a little bit better on them, and what sort of setups you should be going for. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, my opinions on these two weapons, and sort of how I think they affect the game. Have a good one guys, catch you next time.